So this car is pretty ridiculous. Let's have a look at it. Tell us a little bit about it. How did it start? Why did you build it? First off, let's let's see the engine. Well, this is my 1992 Nissan 340SX with a Chevy LM7 5.3 liter uh, V8, made it to a T56. So what, what was a, what was originally in this car? Obviously, this V8 is not stock. This had a uh, KA24DE stock rebuilt um, four cylinder that came stock with the with the truck with the car and I took that out and put this in. Um, it's a like I said 2003 so it's got the manual uh, throttle body and everything stock with the exception of pack racing springs and a stage two comp cams truck cam. Um, we got some real me. nice, real nice wiring in this one. Clearly, it was a, it was a junkyard build. Yeah, I'm an electrician by trade, so you know I got to keep her uh, nice and tight. All right, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, starting at the front of the engine, uh, got the uh, custom Hunter Performance uh, cold air intake here with right. uh, plumbing clamps. You know, nothing but the finest here. <laughs> uh, Looks like you deleted their coolant loop into the throttle body. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of deleting. I've deleted all the emissions. Basically, everything. Um, not required to make the engine run, essentially. Is that a bean can that's the protector for the air filter down uh, there? I believe it was crushed tomatoes, actually. Oh. Uh, you know, I don't want rocks getting sent into my uh, cold air intake there and up into the chooch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, starting at the front of the engine, just front uh, stock front accessories with the exception of uh, a custom Custom alternator there. That's a low perform, uh, low clearance, uh, extra performance. Spins C faster. CNC angle grinder, I would assume there. <laughs> yeah, flap disc. Yeah, yeah, you know. CNC flap disc. <laughs> Computer controlled. Yeah. Um, yeah. It got a lot of CAD in this. A lot of cardboard aided design. Or... <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Uh, CNC milled. Yeah. Um, other than that, stock intake that's been uh, trimmed for weight savings a little bit and weight, for clearance issues. Um, yeah, I got C6 Corvette headers in order for, just for ease of fitment, that's about it. Right. Um, I did the exhaust myself with three mufflers because two just wasn't enough. And clearly, the hood, let's talk a little bit about, so, why did the scoop come into play? Let's close the hood and have a look at it. Well, if you want to take a side profile shot here, we'll give you, it'll give you a couple clues as to why the, uh, the stock hood just wouldn't fit. Like a glove? <laughs> Uh, yeah. It does look good with the scoop though. Yeah, got the decimals, the decimals there. Um, other than that, she's pretty good to go. As for modifications as to how to get it in there, there wasn't much many clearance issues besides the obvious hood. Right. I had to modify the cross member a little bit, as in remove about a half inch material just to fit the oil pan. Yeah. Um, had to make a bracket for my front sway bar and then bash the trans a little bit in order to fit the T56. But other than that, there wasn't much modification required. And what is it running for engine management? What's making this thing run? I've got a Vicksburg uh, MS3X, which is fully sequential fuel and spark. You can see the... Uh, Down in there, I assume, in that big metal box. Yeah, that's it, with all the wires properly labeled and uh, protected with loom. <laughs> Uh, up top there, we can see just uh, uh, just an Android tablet that I bought for cheap, and I downloaded the uh, MS Droid app on the App Store, and it connects to. So the, that's your gauges. Yeah, that's essentially my gauges because the gauges, the stock Nissan gauges, obviously don't work anymore with the with the Chevy motor. And then the interior, other than the the Hearst shifter, it looks like in the uh, T56. And those are S14 seats, right? Yeah, cloth has 14 and a, seats. And a Momo, little Momo steering wheel there. Yep. Other than that, it's uh, it's pretty much stock in the interior. I haven't done much to it. Right. Um, the rear end, I haven't done anything to the rear end. Still stock limited, uh, viscous limited slip rear end, and still with 230 tires, I believe. So she gets loose. Cheap Nexons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no Perfect. name wheels. Nothing. Perfect. Uh, haven't upgraded the brakes. Some smoked out tail lights here. Uh, yeah, for extra heat, want the cops to pull me over so they can at least look at it. <laughs> Gotta give everybody a look. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just Neat. a lot of finer details as to getting that to actually run reliably. Cool, alright then. Thanks, Jordan.